Luster is an open-source, parallel distributed file system that is designed for high-performance computing, HPC, and large-scale data storage. It was originally developed at Carnegie Mellon University and is now actively maintained by OpenSFS, Open Scalable File Systems, Inc. Luster is known for its scalability, performance, and reliability, and it is commonly used in environments that require extensive storage capacity and high data throughput such as research institutions, supercomputing centers, and data centers. Key features of the Luster file system include 1. Scalability. Luster can scale to petabytes of data across thousands of storage servers and clients. It is designed to handle large data sets and high concurrency. 2. Parallelism. Luster is built for parallel I.O., enabling multiple clients to read and write data in parallel which is essential for data-intensive HPC workloads. 3. Striping. Data is striped across multiple storage servers, improving read and write performance. Each file is divided into smaller blocks that are distributed across the file system. 4. High availability. Luster includes features for data redundancy and failover to ensure data reliability and availability. 5. Interoperability. Luster is compatible with various operating systems and can be integrated with popular cluster management and storage software. 6. Object Storage Luster provides an object-based storage model, allowing it to handle large files and objects efficiently. 7. Data Integrity Luster includes features to check and maintain data integrity, reducing the risk of data corruption. 8. Advanced Data Management it supports features like snapshots, quotas, and data migration to help manage and organize large datasets. Luster is widely used in scientific and research computing, as it meets the high-performance storage requirements of fields such as astrophysics, climate modeling, bioinformatics, and more. It is an important component in managing and analyzing the massive amounts of data generated by modern research and computational simulations. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.